everybody, Lubeltran here, and um, ayun lang, it's going to be another vlog. Actually, it's not a vlog. Uh, mag lang ako sa video na to. And um, ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin is common misconception sa business, which is you have to take your time sa business. If you're if you're a fellow entrepreneur just like me, marami nag advice kasi online at saka mga coaches na sinasabihan tayo, ina-advise tayo mga entrepreneurs na we, we have to take our time in our business. We have to take it slow. Kasi business daw is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Okay. So, ayun lang. Um, yun, yun ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin. So, I'm going to run right now in this video. Um, yung belief na you have to take your time to succeed sa yung business. Pero I'm here today telling you that this is a big misconception in today's world, ha? In today's world. Now, bakit sila nagbibigay ng ganitong advice na you have to take your time in your business? Um, this is actually um, a very old advice that is valid 20, 40 years ago. Um... You have to take your time in your business. Um, ang reason daw nila is um, yung best, uh, when you're starting a business kasi it needs to be gradual yung growth and you have to be patient in your approach to it. And um, you have to do careful planning kasi um, yun nga, um, business daw is uh, 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 not a sprint but a marathon. So, ang pinag-uusapan nila dito is more on longevity at saka yung incremental growth ng iyong business. Pero sasabihin ko sa inyo today, ah, as a fellow entrepreneur, that iba na ang panahon natin ngayon. Okay? The business landscape has changed and evolved kasi hindi na lang ang kalaban mo is yung mga fellow entrepreneurs mo or competitors mo in your same city or, or province. Um, in reality, kung may business ka ngayon, ang mga kompetensya mo is on a global stage already. Bakit? Bakit global stage? Bakit kasi nasabing global stage? Kasi someone from China, kunyari, you're, you're in the business of uh, selling... Uh, dresses or 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 beauty products for example lang, for example someone from china can actually create a facebook ad and uh, target yung local city mo for that same product and service pero ang advantage niya is since nasa china siya he has more manufacturing uh, capability and yung products niya are much more cheaper to make than you creating yung product mo dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya alam naman natin na murang-mura lahat yung mga nasa China. How do you compete with that one? How do you compete with someone from China or someone from Thailand making a YouTube video or, or creating a Facebook ad targeting your local city? And yung pricing niya is mas maliit kaysa sa'yo. How do you fight that? Okay. So, with the advent of social media and digital advertising, that's the reality of what we have right now. Hindi na lang ang kompetensya mo is yung mga um, competitors mo on your same city or your same yung region. You're actually competing on the regional or global stage already in today's world. So, yun. Yun yung isang reason bakit sinasabi, you have to be fast. Kasi kung mabilis ka, you can actually um, get a head start from those types of competitors. Mas lalo na they don't belong in the same region or country that you're working in. Um, ano pa, yung mga shifts sa businesses, um, speed of communication and market response. You have to be fast to grab the attention of your customers. Kasi alam naman natin ngayon ang power ng trending videos or trends sa social media. Kung makaride on ka sa trend na yon laki ng impact sa business mo. Okay. 
So, kunyari, yung, for example, yung, yung movie ng Barbie, ang daming gumagamit ng memes tungkol sa Barbie because that's the trend. And um, if, they, if, they, if you know how to link that trend into your uh, product or service, ang laki ng impact nun sa business mo. Okay? Um, ano pang example ng speed at uh, market response? You can actually start a business without starting a business. Um, ako, when I started all of my startups, I didn't start with creating an office, um, buying expensive equipment. Nagsimula lang ako with my desk sa bahay. A desk and a computer. And I tested yung offering uh, ng business ko, which is, um, I, I, I own actually an, a solutions integrator company, IT solutions company. So, Ayun, tinest ko yung waters. Nag-create ako ng website without actually registering par from SEC uh, during that time or, or a business permit. Gumawa lang ako ng website. I created a couple of ads. Tinest ko yung mga offers ko. And that's how I validated na yung, yung business ko is, um, is a good business. So you can actually do this with your products as well. So, kunyari, going back to the uh, example ng pagbebenta ng beauty product, you can actually sell beauty products without having any stock. So, ang gawin mo lang, mag-create ka ng website. Okay? So, kahit wala ka pang produkto on hand, you can actually put it there and accept pre-orders ng produkto mo. And once you have money coming in from your online store, already, saka mo palang bilhin yung product mo and ship mo sa, sa customer mo. Kung ilan lang yung nag-order, yun lang ang bilhin mo. It's not like yung traditional way of doing business before na kailangan mo mag-stock ng mga mga uh, inventory mo before you start selling. In today's world, you, medyo balik na tayo eh. You can actually start selling even before you have stocks of your business. Stocks sa business mo. <laughs> Okay, so you can actually do that with the power of social media at saka digital marketing. And ano pa, ano pa yung shifts sa businesses na kailangan yung malaman? Um, yung mga innovative startups. Yung mga innovative startups that are disrupting the business. Sino yung mga startups na to? Example is Grab. Grab started as a ride-hailing business kasi... And they disrupted yung mga taxis natin and transportation. And now, they also disrupted food delivery. Okay, ang laking market nun. So, they are actually, alam naman natin kung ang paano nag, nag-work si Grab. So, mag-order ka ng pagkain mo from the different establishments and si Grab na ang bahala mag-deliver ng pagkain na yun. Before, wala, um, kukunti lang yung mga businesses na nag-offer ng deliveries. Usually, yung mga malalaking kumpanya. But now, with the use of Grab and Food Panda, disrupted na yung business. Okay? Ano pa ang malalaking disruptors? Si Gcash, Paymaya, okay? si Sari Store. So Sari Store is uh, an innovative startup here in the Philippines na they are disrupting yung, um, alam niyo yung mga middlemen na nagkakasession nag, 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 ng mga mga grocery items sa mga tindahan. Um, mga middlemen yun eh. Um, so usually, yung mga micro SMEs natin, pupunta sila sa groceries, tapos bibili sila ng paninda nila, ibibenta dun sa kanilang mga sari-sari store. Pero now, with sari, um, you just have to order from their app kung ano yung kailangan ng store mo, ihatid nila dun sa, sa business mo. Cutting out the middlemen. So, yun yung mga malalaking disruptors. Mga startups, you have to be aware kung sino yung mga startups in your area that are disrupting the business and take advantage of them. Okay? So, yun yung mga uh, shifts that I can tell you right now in this video. So, malaki ang impact nito sa mga um, businesses kasi um, kahit na maliit ka or you're just starting out, in your, uh, in your entrepreneurship journey or in your business, hindi ibig sabihin na maliit ka is you cannot compete with the large uh, businesses na uh, established na. Okay? 
with the power of social media, okay? with the power of Facebook advertising, Google advertising, TikTok videos, you can actually fight yung mga Goliath sa industry mo. Hindi katulad dati, 10, 20 years ago, or 30 years ago, na kung maliit ka, wala ka talagang chance lumaban sa mga malalaking businesses na yung mga established na. But in today's world, with the power of social media and digital marketing, kayang-kaya mo silang tapatan sa kanilang mga produkto or, or sa kanilang mga services. And ayun, you have to be fast. You really have to be fast in, in business. Um, you have to be quick in terms of your decision making kasi alam naman natin kung paano gumawa ng bundok ngayon. Masyado siyang mabilis. Okay. So, yun lang ang may advice ko sa inyo. You have to balance speed with strategy. You cannot afford to be slow sa inyong business right now. So, paano niyo i-take advantage on how to be fast? You have to know how to use technology sa inyong business to do rapid testing and adaptation sa inyong mga processes. Ano pa, um, you also have to know kung ano yung mga market shifts na meron tayo ngayon. Okay? So, ngayon, ang med medyo mas uh, effective in terms of digital marketing is um, yung mga reels at saka stories. How do I know that? Because I own also a digital marketing agency startup. Okay? Isa yan sa mga minamanage ko. I actually have four startups that I'm uh, managing right now. So, an IT solutions company, uh, digital marketing, business consultancy, and an incubator. Yeah. So, take advantage also of your social media. Alam naman natin kung gaano ka-powerful ito. Um, pero, ang dami pa rin businesses na hindi nagtitake advantage ng kanilang Facebook pages, um, email marketing dito sa Pilipinas, ano pa ba, um, website design, online shop. Ang dami pa rin eh. Yung, yung common misconception, uh, yung, yung, yung mindset nila is still working uh, from 10, 20 years ago. Okay. Pero if, you, if you're thinking like that in today's world, talo ka talaga. Matatalo at matatalo ka talaga. And you also have to understand na we live in a global uh, economy. Okay. Don't just stay sa inyong local area you can actually send yung products and services ninyo or offer yung products and services ninyo, not just here in the Philippines, not just here in your local province or region, but globally. Pwede ka nang makipaglaban globally. So, yun lang. Yun, yun ang kailangan yung malaman in terms of uh, um, this uh, video. <laughs> it's actually a, 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 a rant. Okay. So, yung mga, kung nakikinig pa rin kayo dun sa mga um, entrepreneurs or business coaches na nagsasabi na you have to take time in your business. You have to take it slow. Para sa akin, that's the wrong advice in today's world. That's a very wrong advice. And um, you have to recognize na ayun nga, you have to be fast in today's world. Okay. Alam niyo yung galawan ngayon. I don't have to ex explain to you guys kung ano yung galawan in terms of businesses right now kung ano yung nakikita nyo sa inyong phone in terms of social media you have to be you have to be fast so yun lang um, yun lang ang gusto kong i-share sa inyo in this video so um, kung nagustuhan nyo man ito video na to um, just hit that like button sa baba ng video na to and if you have comments or or suggestions or violent reactions leave it in the comment section nandiyan ako nagre-reply um, and i always check yung mga comments niyo and I, I i'll try to reply and let's have a, a conversation between fellow entrepreneurs okay kasi sino pa bang magtutulungan kundi tayo tayo rin kasi tayo mga entrepreneurs are the trailblazers okay sa kahit anong economy so, yun lang. I want to thank you for watching this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And um, it's, it's a way to help me na rin in creating more videos like this. Yung mga medyo unconventional uh, tips and tricks na hindi masyadong tinuturo in terms of the entrepreneur and uh, the business world. So, that's it. And I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye!